Dear students, in this lecture we are going to discuss FP characteristic of an alternator where F is frequency and P is active power. When a single alternator is supplying power to a load, then the amount of active and reactive powers supplied by this single alternator will always be equal to the active and reactive power demanded by this load. That is, the active power supplied by this alternator cannot be controlled with the help of governor associated with this alternator. Similarly, the amount of reactive power supplied by this alternator cannot be controlled with the help of excitation control that is voltage controller of this alternator. For the case when a single alternator is supplying the load. So please note this point that the active that the active and reactive power supplied by this alternator will always be equal to the active and reactive power demanded by this load fine we know that alternators are run with the help of different types of prime movers that is turbines such as steam turbines gas turbines hydro turbines, wind turbines, diesel turbines, etc. All these turbines tend to behave in a similar fashion. With the increase in this P that is active power, the speed of prime mover associated with the alternator decreases. That is when P demand on the alternator is increased, then the speed of the prime mover that is turbine, which is running this alternator, rotor of this alternator, the speed decreases. So generally, this decrease in speed of prime movers are non-linear in nature, is non-linear in nature. But some a special governor mechanism makes it linear. So if we will plot these speeds of prime movers against various p values that is active power demand on this alternator then this linear curve will be like this. This characteristic is known as drooping characteristic of a prime mover. So we can see that N0 is no load speed when P is 0, active power demand is 0. As active power demand increases, this P increases, the speed of prime mover decreases. So let us denote this point is PFL, full load active power, maximum capacity of active power which can be supplied by this alternator. Beyond that, the speed will be further down and which will not be economical. So this is the maximum limit on P and corresponding increase at full load demand is NFL, that is full load speed. So we may define a speed droop is equal to no load speed minus full load speed upon full load speed into 100%. Generally, this a speed drop, drop sorry, a speed droop varies from 2 to 4 percent.
with the help of governor set point the no load speed can be varied that is it may be increased or may be decreased that is this curve may be shifted up or may be shifted down with the help of governor set point we know that frequency of generated emf is directly proportional to a speed of prime mover this frequency so we can observe that by increasing p we can plot frequency as well so now let us replace this curve with frequency versus p curve right here f in hertz and this is f0 no load frequency this is ffl full load frequency so similar to sp drop drop we may define frequency drop as right here frequency drop is equal to no load frequency minus full load frequency ffl upon full load frequency ffl into 100% now let us mark this power at any moment of time whatever active power demand is there that has to be supplied by this alternator let us mark this as p so p suppose lies somewhere here and corresponding point we may observe let us say this one this p as discussed earlier that p may be varies between zero and this maximum limit that is full load p so when this system of a single alternator and load supplies an active power demand of p and corresponding to this p the frequency the system frequency that is system of these two alternator and load is fs where fs is system frequency so let us mark these angles if this is theta then this will also be theta fine as this line will be parallel to this theta so let us write tan theta which will be slope of this curve so let us write is slope p for active power curve is equal to let us write this tan theta so f0 minus ffl upon f0 minus ffl this upon this and this is pfl minus 0 that is pfl the same tan theta in this triangle may also be written as this upon this so this is f0 minus fs upon this is p minus 0 that is p so from here the relationship between system frequency and active power that is directly we may write p this p will be equal to f0 minus fs upon sp like this we have taken this p here and sp here where sp can be evaluated with the help of tan theta fine now let us solve one problem based on this which was asked in gate 2020 